Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a different opinion. So today we're going to be looking at a little bit of a frustrating and also a kind of sad video just to show how wild it is kind of going in America. So this is not just one state. These are a few states at the moment. And I don't know if you guys have seen a lot of them, but there's more and more videos of people just running into stores, stealing things and leaving. And there's nothing being done to them. Absolutely nothing. So have a look at this one here. So four suspects arrested after Georgia Lullymore robbery. Employees fired after confronting the looters. As you can see here, these are the four men arrested. So they were charged for stealing over $7,000 worth of merchandise. So only apparently two of them have actually been charged with theft. And that's um, for shoplifting and theft by receiving stolen property. So have a look here. Here's the video for you. And this happens across the whole country where people just walk in and they're very relaxed about it too. No, no. Seriously. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. But um, obviously this is not the first time. They say that it's nearly the 10th time that they've come in and done these robberies. So they reckon it's the same people again. So Lollimon has a policy in the company handbook stating that employees will not interfere with robberies for their own safety. The employees are meant to scan a QR code after the theft, so not even a number you can ring, and essentially brush it under the proverbial rug otherwise. So these people were actually fired for just videoing this and calling the police instead of just scanning that QR code and nothing would have been done again. See what happens? They actually rang the police and they got arrested. Scan the QR code, nothing ever happened. It's it's kind of ridiculous that a company will allow their staff to be in such danger because anything could happen. Let's say they come back again. They're like, you know what? Instead of stealing clothes, I'm going to take the money in the till. They pull out a gun or something, something bad happens. Now watch this next video. So a CSV in Montgomery County, Maryland, I guess that is the new normal. Let's have a look here. People just watching them, stealing things. They're not doing anything. No one ever does anything. Not casually walking out with a full, full bag of stuff. Oh. And look, the same thing is happening in New Zealand as well. It's not just there. There's parts here in Australia as well where this is happening as well. So I'm not just picking on America here. I'm just showing that this is a new trend that's happening. But the people in New Zealand are getting arrested and they're being charged. But if you're a minor in New Zealand, you're let free. Same thing here in Australia. If you're a minor, no, nothing will happen to you. You won't even be charged with anything. But if you're an adult, you'll at least get something, which is not much either. So have a look at this. This is just a guy standing on his porch in Chicago. And this happens. There. They already got a guy there. Just literally put in the pockets. No, nah, no wallet, no nothing. All right, we're going next. Next people. It's and look, I could show you thousands of these videos. Just thousands. You can imagine these guys like. What the heck? I'm just standing on my front porch with my friend or whatever. And this car just pulls up and bang, just a gun in your face. Like, give me your money. It, this reminds me, literally, I'm not joking to you. Look, I know I grew up in South Africa and everything. And you hear the stories um, of different people from certain parts of Africa. And we all have a certain story, some of us more than others, where, you know, you, you have kind of a near-death experience where it could have gone bad because you either got... A gun pointed at your head at the lights to steal your phone when you're stopping your car. Or, you know, you have a, someone in the, in the house with a shotgun with a balaclava over their face and didn't realize anyone was home. And luckily they ran away instead of actually murdering you. These both things happened to me and my family. Yeah, it's, it's horrible. And you could just imagine what they're going through as well. And luckily I was a little kid, so I didn't really understand the, the entirety of it. So you didn't really get emotionally felt by it but there's a reason why people left leaves of africa in such big droves is because they don't want to be near that danger and yes there are, still are people that go through their whole entire lives without having going through anything like that but in south africa it's a very very small 
minority who actually go through their life without experiencing it. I mean, our house was robbed eight times in one year. And not just like a robbery, like, you know, oh, they took the car key and stole the car. No, no, I'm talking about like a proper, they stole like thousands of dollars worth of things from inside your house. And that's why we even had to have a steel gate put in inside the house to actually stop them from going into where people are sleeping. And this is not like, this is including having electric fencing on top of, you know, seven foot fences. And I'm talking about not, not like a thin wooden fence. I'm talking about concrete fences, electrical things over. You've got alarm codes as well. So anyone breaks in, the alarm goes off as well. The silent alarms go straight to the security slash police as well. And this still happens that many times. And that's the thing. And you don't want to see the same thing happening in other countries because people will start fleeing, right? People will go, this is too dangerous, I'm leaving. And that's unfortunately what's happening in a lot of parts of the world at the moment. It's very, very sad to see. And, and then the people are pushing more and more instead of actually trying to make it easier and let people get jobs and let people get money. It's crazy. Look here again, here's another video. That way! That's what we do! You can tell this video is actually, this is someone who's probably a TikToker or someone who makes these videos. Just recently a kid in the UK got in trouble for the same thing by walking into people's houses and trying to jump over people just for, for likes. I think if you are making a video for social media and you do a crime like this or something, your punishment should be more. It's not like he's stealing this to, to actually feed himself or his family, right? There's no noble cause in this. And you shouldn't be stealing in the first place. Go and work for your money, right? Just to make a video and try and be funny. This could end bad. Imagine if the shop owner here had a gun. Just imagine that while watching this. That's what we do! 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 See, it's not like he came in to steal a specific something. He just wanted anything. That way! That way! As you can tell, he's just doing this for the videos. That way! That's why I've seen a lot of these videos turn very sour as well recently, right? Where someone might inside have a gun and they just say, you know what? Stuff this, I'm shooting this person. And in, in many states, they legally could defend their business from someone like that with, with lethal force. And this is worse than to you. You think, oh, no, you know, the working class is still good. You know, look what these nurses do in Florida. I can't actually play the music yet again. Copyrighted. Have a look. This is a newborn baby in the hospital. And they're making it dance along to 50, a 50 cent song. People that I know that are nurses who work with babies, they would never do such a stupid thing. Like this and videoing it too. It's just asking for trouble. I hope they get fired. That you should never touch another person's baby unless you're caring for it. Don't go joking around with someone else's baby. Like, that's, that's, not, that's not your job. That's not what you're being paid for. Hope they get fired. But anyway, I'll end it on that one there today. Please like the video if you did like it. Let me know as well. Like, please comment. Let me know what you think about all this. It's, it's just sad to see these reactions. I just want to do this, these videos just to kind of keep showing everyone. Look, it's not just one part of the country where this is happening. It's happening a lot. And also happening across the world. Because like I said, the same things are happening here in Australia. The same things are happening in New Zealand. So it's not just like it's one country. But I'll end it on that one. Subscribe as well if you do enough to support the channel. And thanks for watching.